Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm good, Sal. I'm good. Then that's good. Okay. Then we don't need a reading. <laughs> when you are feeling good, you don't need to watch this, but you can watch it for humor. Okay. Because I like to make people laugh. Okay. So here we go. So if you get annoyed with my laughter, because I'm living my best life, then I hope you find, you know, a, you know, a life that you can live. Okay. <laughs> Meaning, leave me alone. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus. I'm I'm hearing the word of a, a paradigm shift. Oh, I'm not sure what it means. It sounds smart, so paradigm shift. Can be like, isn't it like when you think of something, it will change? You know, it's like the table says turn, I think. Something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, something is about to turn. To change. Like if you think that's north, no, it's not. It's south. Oh, something like that. Something is changing. Wonder if that is. Mm -hmm. The flip side. I'm hearing flip. Something is about to flip. Mm -hmm. Let me see. All the announcements at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Oh! A death card. Dun 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 dun. A Scorpio, seventh house. Mm hmm. So there was a breakup. Mm hmm. Death and rebirth. That's the eighth house. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like both of you didn't give this enough chance or thought of how you guys have separated. But the moment of reckoning has happened already. It was time, you know. If it's a movie, you know, the angel of death, you know, with, um, uh, with that movie, forgot the movie, has come and then the two of you were not prepared, okay? There was a big judgment between the two of you. You guys were not ready to face the love that you guys have for each other. It was strong, but not stable. Mm-hmm. Is what it is. So, an eighth house is like totally erratic. You can never predict the eighth house. Unpredictable changes, you know. So you guys could be doing good, everything is fine. Man versus bus, boom. Breakup. Mm-hmm. I feel like both of you just accepted it like, okay, done. Hmm. I feel like someone, if you thought, I feel like they managed to escape it. Meaning... You know how in those movies you will see a body and it's dead, but in reality that's not the person. So you thought that, okay, well, like you thought that it's over or someone thinks it's over, but it's not, but it's not, or you thought like they have given up, but they didn't, you know, because look at this, someone escaped death. Not, now you're not escaping, there's nobody dying, but someone escaped it. Or someone could have just run away from the relationship mm -hmm, and that caused the breakup. Be a long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone had to to leave the situation. Either they're trying to make their parents happy for others. This can be like a, a family matter, a family issue that they had to go to their parents because their parents was upset about their decisions in life, something like that. Mm -hmm. Not sure how old this person is because then, you know, then it's not that mature. Mm -hmm. Someone here can also be rushing towards to take care of their grandparents. Again, I'm seeing here external issues, meaning not your life, their life, you know. So, is it really over or is not? Because it says it is not. Look at the temperance. It's almost like a, a temporary separation. Right now, you guys are not, not together. Mm -mm. You have the temperance here. Look at that. Something here erupted all of a sudden. You know, look at that. The temperance. There's a volcano right there. That already has happened, I feel. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. There's the town. 
and ashes. And Someone here is gonna try to... I don't know, how are they gonna come back? Because I feel like the temperance is just an energy of the divine, meaning it's not gonna materialize until someone realizes something, okay? Like the option is there to heal it, but it's not gonna happen until the person realize or you realize. Someone here had to realize that there's still a spark between the two of you. Whoever has left, the one who was left out is so right now having the feels. Um, it's not ghosting. Like, someone just felt clueless. Okay. On why. Why did this all happen? How did we get to this point? It's almost like if you are married, you know, it's like you look at each other in the eyes and it's like, how did we get to this point? You know, like, of course, like getting married, it's like, oh, you guys are dating, happy, da, 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 da. And then now you guys are at each other's throat. And it's like, what happened? You know, can be just a relationship, of course. Um, but someone here is still refusing to open up, to communicate. Mm -mm. Uh huh. So someone is trying to fight the universe here. This is more of like a battling of what is fated, okay? Because the temperance with the hierophant here, there is going to be, you know, I feel like that angel right there is a divine intervention. It is what is written in the hierophant, but someone here is so like, you know, to the last, you know, this is someone who's trying to go against the grain of a connection. Now let's see, see the two of ones. Someone can be refusing to commit here. Mm -hmm. But it's already written in the stars. It's right here. So this person will continuously fight. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's faded. You got four of ones, you know. The universe has already put this connection together, separate, and then reconcile. Two of ones with the four of ones, you see. It is already written in the stars. And I feel like that, you know, you know, that person over there, that energy looking at the four of ones, they're just looking at it. It's like, yeah, you can keep fighting, but, you know, as above, so below, it shall, you know. There's no way that you guys are not going to be together. I mean, after this whole separation. See, as above, so below, and the magician came. Now that's creepy. Now that's just the universe saying, it's like, yeah, we got this. So it's not in your hands anymore? Mm -mm. As above, so below. Someone is manifesting this, of course. Magician with the four of ones. Someone here is continuously praying and doing all these things so that they, you know, like, you know, so that the relationship comes back. The Emperor, wow, first time the entrance. Someone here is Aries or Scorpio right there. Sag, Taurus, Knight of Swords. So this is about a battle of someone's will in some in what the universe has already written in the stars. I don't know who's gonna win. Okay. Because the Emperor, Magician, the Four of Wands, you know, this is the this is a very strong will individual that they have the the resources, they have the knowledge, they have the control, and look at what the other person is doing, fighting it, you know. But it's effortless even for the other person, okay? Because this can be you, and the other person is refusing to to connect with you. Okay, so this is like Battle Galactica, you know? <laughs> it's just like you against the world. It's not you and me against the world. Someone here is doing me against the universe. Mm -hmm. 
I've never seen a human win against the universe. <laughs> never gonna happen. It's written in the stars. From the death, from the beginning to the end, it's already written in the stars. But we will see how this whole manifestation, I just feel like someone is so strong here. Like their energy is just like, we will be together. We'll see an extended. Okay. You guys have been getting weird ass reading, Taurus. The saying. <laughs> so I don't know where you guys are going. <laughs> so link down there in the description box for the extended and everything that you need. Thank you very much guys for watching. Bye. Hi everyone. So make sure that you click the 10,000 likes if you guys want to have um, your own uh, whole reading with no extended. So just make sure um, you hit 10,000 and I would read you from Aries to Pisces against all the Zodiac. And also if you guys want to participate in the raffle, make sure you hit to 15,000 likes and then hashtag each love, hashtag Salvadora down there in the comments, not in the chat room. And just to remind everybody when you're watching this, the Saturn webinar will be um, this January 11. So make sure that you are signed up already. It's in the description box. Um, we're gonna be talking about everything about the planet and how it's affecting our life as considering that like Saturn rules karma, Saturn rules time, Saturn rules, it's also Karaka, you know, it's like for our partnership contracts and marriage and relationship, you know, it's, you know, that's one of the things with Saturn. So if you guys wanna learn more about Saturn, make sure you attend the Saturn webinar. It's also live, so you can have, you can, be, you will be able to ask me question. And that is this coming January 11. So make sure you sign up, it's in the description box. Bye guys. Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching the video. The rest of the reading can be found at the link right here and also there is gonna be a suggested video right here for your zodiacs. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting this channel. Hit that like, that subscribe, and share this video. Always spread the wings, not the legs. Bye.